Hey yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk. Welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in this episode of World of Tanks and Beanhole Bandit is back from Clan Fines in his Grille 15. He is in his Grille 15 tier 10 German TD. The one that uh, the one that replaced the old WTF, right? Remember that big auto-loading abomination? There's been rumors that it's going to come back during Christmas, but I haven't seen any hide nor hair of it. It's the 27th as of making this video, so we'll see. But that's not what this is about. This is about Bean having a great game, and he is attempting to complete TD-15 for the 260. 8,000 damage, or maybe it's the Chimera. I'm not really sure, but in any event, he needs... Does this tell me on the replay? Sure it does. Block 14. Nope, that's the wrong thing. I need TD. Hold on. Can we do this? Oh, you can do it in the replays. Fantastic. TD-15, Triumph. 8,000 damage for the basic completion. So he comes here. We are... I made the map go away. How did I manage that? <laughs> Clearly, I pressed M somewhere. He's gone to the middle of the map here on whatever this is, Serene Coast. There we go. And we've spawned into the north. This is an interesting spot, actually. I've not used this spot. I kind of like it, but it doesn't create any shots for him. So I'm, I'm thinking he's looking potentially for shots on guys in the side there. Maybe if somebody is a little bit unwise hanging out in the middle, he had shots, but he's going to pretty quickly abandon that spot and move on this way. He can see his Foch 155, and the scout was moving around in the middle. He's got the zoom out mod, it looks like. So he's going to come in here and see if he can't find some shots on some of these guys. He finds the, the 57, sees him. He's sitting right there. Doesn't quite have a shot. The 57 knocks that piece of wood down, and he just finds a little corner and blip right into the turret so he drops his first 700 and what do we got there 64 damage with a little bit of spotting thrown on top 994 as the t57 goes down hard so to speak now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the scout here i'm going to follow him around see if we can get a shot on him there we go is he going to come there he is and oh not quite goes into a rock it looks like fairly long reload on this tank Obviously, zero armor. You do have to be very careful, but it is mobile enough. You're going to watch Bean use his mobility to move around the battlefield with this thing and move around through the match and get into good positions. Gets spotted. Doesn't worry too much about it. One of the nice... Watch this shot. Uh-oh. 1,091 from an ammo rack. That's going to go a long ways towards the 8,000 we need, but that's still at 1,855. Long way to go. One-fourth or so? One-quarter? So without any RD, as I was mentioning a little bit earlier, we're going to take this guy down with another blap for 786. Nice high roll on a 750 Alpha gun. Without any RD, it does allow him to kind of move around a little bit more and not be as worried if he gets spotted. No RD to blap him behind things. For the most part, the enemy seems to be ignoring him. And you know, guys, this is one of the things you kind of need to have happen if you're going to have one of these monster 8,000 damage games. Now, I'm not saying he got it. We're going to see what happens here, but this is a great game. He drops another thump on that guy for 672 and a very low roll. There's a hit from the Progetto 65, but you've got to have an enemy team that more or less ignores you. If you get focused down or you get into the wrong spot and locked down in this tank, it's not very easy to get big damage like he's going to have out of this. But if you're allowed to be a little bit mobile, there's no arty to mess with you. Nice shot right into the side of that guy for another 500 or so, 506. If they're going to allow you to move around and use your mobility, then this thing can be highly, highly effective. Much like the Scorpion at Tier 8 or the Su-130, those glass cannons, if they're able to operate without being focused down and splashed by arty and things, can be incredibly effective. So we've got that guy running off. He spots him, so he backs out. We're still worried about the Progetto sitting in the middle. That's the guy that's kind of locking him down from moving too much from this spot. And we've really scattered all over, and all of a sudden we're down 5 to 8, and this is looking pretty grim. Look at that great big force over there on the peninsula. There's just a lone T110E4 over there. And just kind of watch what happens over there and watch as Bean starts to react. They've got the Super Conqueror isolated. The Progetto moves back, so he's run away. Now that the, what is this, the Conqueror, Super Conqueror is isolated, you can see Bean going in there as fast as possible using the Mobility of this, the great mobility of this Grille 15. Start tracking him down. He's got an object 277 closing in. There's a bat chat sitting over there. Looks like he's reloading potentially. 
So they know they've got a nice advantage, a three on one. And this is the kind of thing you want to look for when you're making a comeback. And notice how he uses the altitude here on the train to just come up to uncover that guy and put a shot on him. Backs immediately, the guy doesn't turn on him, and then he just follows him in. He's got a bat chat there to help him out. So just being pretty aggressive. The 277 stops. I don't know if he's trying to aim in or what that guy's doing. but And Bean just comes in aggressively. I don't know. I might have tried to snipe, snipe a shot off of him. He eats a an HE shot. Wow. Guy drops an HE shot. Bean takes him down on a running on a running shot there. A drive-by shooting, if you will. Loses his driver because of that fixed. He's up to 5,374 with four kills. Remember, he needs six kills for the... Is that right? Six kills, yes. He's got four of the six kills he needs to do it with honors, and he's closing in on the 8,000 damage. And it looks like there is enough hit points on the board. Remember when I mentioned the 110E4 and all of his buddies over there that are not his buddies? How interesting is it that they didn't just simply push in on that guy and take him out? All of them afraid. Now, it looks like some of them at least have flexed back. Meta flex back to the cap. Which is what you'll find at Tier 10. Most players at Tier 10 are pretty smart. This is a great shot. He finds this IS-7 being spotted by the 124. The guy's looking at the 124. He eats a big 715 low roll at that point from Bean. And then the 124 should deal with that guy. Not much that Bean can do about it right now. Looks like maybe he's trying to get a light on him, but the guy's going around the corner. Two TDs are in here, or at least there will be foreshadowing. The WZ is there, and you'll see that there it is. The 268 version 4 came back as well. 277 YOLO's in for some unknown reason. Eats a shot, and all of a sudden he's fighting two giant TDs. A turret is a huge advantage against a TD, but it is much less of an advantage against two of them. So they shave off two big hits, and we're just waiting for one of them to reload. Let's see if he gets a shot on one of them before he goes down. Nope, not really. Bean's going to come in here and look to take down the lower hit point guy first just to remove him from the fight. Plus, he's nice and close. We nuke that guy for 303, and now we've got the WZ cornered. And holy cow, it's a comeback. 13 and 11. We've got 6,390 damage. We've got five kills. We need a kill. We just need one more kill. Let's see if we can get this here. Oh, not quite. Didn't get the kill, but got some damage. 7,223. How many hit points? does the 60 TP have if he's got enough we're gonna find out as he comes in here we are so close what do you guys think is being gonna do it is it seems like des destiny it's his density it seems like it's gonna happen to me but let's find out what happens here for once I didn't give it away you know what I mean I <laughs> always come in with these intentions of, of creating a little bit of tension in the video we're gonna see what happens but uh, I always give it away, and I don't think I've given it away this time. I don't think so. Is Bean going to have a big finish? Math in public, how much damage do we need? Well, 700-something it looks like, right? 700. Oh, there's some down. What do we got? We got 7. Cal, yeah, math in public. What's going on? 782? Is that enough? Oh, that is enough if he can get all of the hit points and the kill. All right, Bean, go to it. Let's see that nice roll. Going to need a nice high roll. Oh, <laughs> 7,933. But it's not over yet, folks, is it? I mean, the 124, he's sat in a corner the whole time. I don't think he's been really terribly effective. You know, is he just going to hide there from the 60 TP? What's going to happen here? You know, a 124 that has just sat on that peninsula hiding in a corner the whole time. Surely, surely. Stop calling me surely. He's not going to do this. Rage in and ram. Beans like, I got no. <laughs> Oh, man. Remember, that tank had 72 hit points left, and he was a, a one-shot kill to Bean. That would have been easily, not easily, but by five points, if my math is correct, 72 plus 33, that's going to be five points over the 8,000 he needed, plus the kill, and it's denied. Not only does he not get the, the completion or not only does he not get the with honors, he doesn't get the standard completion either. That is a... <laughs> well, I got the song right here from Pat Benatar. You know, when I when I typed in Heartbreaker to look for the lyrics, it gave me some Mariah Carey song as the top. What? Mariah Carey? Come on. It's Pat Benatar. You're a heartbreaker, dream maker, a love taker. Don't you mess around with me. Well, they messed around with Bean, didn't they? 
being that's tough. You know, I always do. I always love the one-upsmanship kind of stuff. So I'm going to one-upsmanship Bean. He sent me this message, sent me the the replay, and said, "Man, it was really close." And I looked at the results, and I said, "Well, I'm going to. This is kind of a one-upsmanship. One of those. Oh yeah. Well, I have a friend that did whatever. Right? When somebody tells you something, well, I actually came within three on this one once. <laughs> three points on this one once. And if we look at poor Bean, all he really needed was a a relatively high roll, but not a crazy high roll. He rolled a 710. All he needed was another, uh, what was it, 67 points or so? Is that right? Yes. Another 67 points onto that high roll. And look at the roll before that on the WZ down there on the bottom left. I need to look over here. That's, is that, yeah, on the bottom, over here. On the, yeah. <laughs> An 833 the shot before. That would have certainly done it. Oh, Bean, I feel for you, man. That was a great game, though. What a fun game. And a, a great example of using a, a tank, mob, a mobile tank, as fire support and going where you're needed. Most people will take this and hide in a bush the whole game. Man, it is unbelievably effective if it's given the right situation and you play it correctly. Really just a, a, a master's class here as well. But thanks, Bean. I thank everybody else for coming by and checking out the content. I do appreciate it very much. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, you can find those down in the description below. But if all you can do is throw me a subscribe, I actually appreciate that probably uh, as much as anything, to be quite honest, because it helps the channel grow and for me to keep doing what I'm doing. Thanks for coming by. That's all I've got. We will see you.